Hello? What do I want? <laughs> I want Cadbury's. The Cadbury Show! <laughs> Goldworthy, can you lend me a pound? Lend you a pound? I I'm sorry, Elsie, but yesterday I lost my money belt. Oh, that must have been awful. Yeah, I had to hold them up by hand. <gasps> I'll tell you what I'll do, though. What? You know that two pounds you owe me? Yeah. To show you that my heart's in the right place, I'll forget half of it. Oh, thank you, Reg. And to show that my heart's in the right place, I'll forget the other half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Money, money, after all. Can money buy you happiness? No. Can money buy you contentment? No. Can money buy you health? No. Keep going. There must be something you can buy with it. Well, actually, Elsie, you can buy a lot of things if you go about it the right way. Buy Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate and see. What do you mean? Well, take happiness and contentment. You'll find both the moment you take a big, deep bite of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. Dairy Milk has the smoothness and full flavor of milk. Milk, fresh, creamy milk. A glass and a half of it in every half pound. That's true, but what about health? That goes hand in hand with solid nourishment, Elsie. There's plenty of that in dairy milk. That's why it's so good for you. Well, money doesn't buy friends, Reg. It only buys you a better class of enemy. <laughs> if you think that, Elsie, buy a block of dairy milk tomorrow and start sharing it around. Yes, and then people will say that I'm friendly. More than that, Elsie. A block of dairy milk chocolate shared and more people will say... I want Cadbury's. Five thousand two hundred? No. Two million nine hundred and sixty? No. Oh, I'm in. That's me, your lover boy. Blubber boy, more like it. <laughs> two million one hundred thousand and twenty? No. What are you doing, Minnie? Oh, don't bother me, purse. I'm checking through my pound notes. Three million. <laughs> Three million six hundred and forty. Oh, she's a millionaire. Million. I didn't know it. I'm Minnie. You interest me. I've just realised that I like the stuff you're made of. That stuff with the printing on it. I'm not counting pound notes. I'm reading the numbers on these six here. Ah, so I interest you, do I? Uh, yes, in a repulsive sort of way. <laughs> Only six. Why are you doing that? It's none of your business, fat boy. Oh, Elsie, have you found any more? Yes, men, I'm coming. Oh, hello, Purse. No work today? No, Jelly Ben, we knocked off early. Mm, I don't know why you put up with a lazy loafer else. Say, have you found any? Yes, Ben. Look, have a look at these. Mm -hmm. Quid notes, me favourite fruit. <laughs> ah, you've been holding out on me. What are all these for, anyway? Well, haven't you seen the paper? The newspaper office will pay £50 to the first person who brings in a pound note today by three o'clock with the number ending 727. We're, we're looking at our numbers. Ah, so that's it. Look, Jellybean, there are nine million people in this country, and how many pound notes ending in 727? No, 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 don't tell me. Let me guess. Well, no one knows. Oh. It's like guessing the number of beans in a bottle. Well, I, I was only two off at the school bazaar. Oh, this time you can't miss. Well, what's that number again? It must end in 727. Eh, hey, what a pity. Here's one ending in 721. Oh, well, couldn't we change the figure one into a seven? <laughs> well, I know a bloke could do it for you. He'd be only too pleased. Fred the Forger. Oh, no, I forgot. He wouldn't have time for it right now. Why, well, what's he doing? Time. <laughs> well, that's all the pound notes we've got, except there's fiver, and that's no good. Oh, if you don't want it, I'll take it. Oh, why don't you go to work and make some money for yourself? Well, as soon as Fred the Forger comes out, I'm taking lessons. Well, why don't you work, you big lazy ox? Well, at the moment, I'm just filling in. You look more like filling out. Else, get her off me back. Now, you leave him alone, men. Purse might look lazy, but he doesn't look half as lazy as he is. May I come in? Hello, Miss Elsie. Still courting? Oh, Miss Plunge. Yes, dear, but I haven't caught him yet. Purse, say hello to Miss Plunge. <laughs> Percy, put your eyeballs back in. I do like your frock. A frock like that makes a girl look smart. Yeah, it makes a bloke look round. <laughs> Wacko exclamation mark. You know, that reminds me of my first party frock. 
I was invited to a reception for two celebrities. Oh, they were charming then. I liked Mr. Hume, but I didn't care for his hovel. Uh, oh. Miss Plunge, would you have any pound notes on you? Well, as a matter of fact, I have. Oh, good. Well, can you change this five pound note? Of course. Here you are. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. Quick, men, have a look. Nine, one, two, no. Mm -hmm. Six, two, four, no. No, 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 look. Uh, you see, uh, we're looking for one of the lucky pound notes, Miss Plunge. Oh. Well, perhaps someone could change these notes for some others. Uh, Percy, would you go and change them? For you, I'd change me whole way of living, love. Give them to me. Well, hero. Purse, what are you doing in the pantry? I'm panting. <laughs> well, this time I'm off. Miss Plunge, will you think of me while I'm gone? Yes, Percy. In my mind, I always hold you in contempt. Whack out. <laughs> hero. There's no doubt about it, Miss Plunge. You do have an effect. Oh, it's probably the lessons I have at charm school. Miss Elsie, don't you wish you had my poise? No, thanks. I'm satisfied with my purse. <laughs> well, uh, what's this charm school? How do you get into it? Well, first they give you a test. A test? What for? Would you like me to give you one? All right. Well, first your skin. Let me see your face, Minnie. My, you are well preserved. <laughs> yeah, like a prune. Huh? <laughs> Let me see your face, Miss Elsie. Oh, no. If you don't mind me saying this, we strive for the fresh, natural look. That powder really gives you an unnatural look. Miss Plunge, I am not wearing powder. Oh. <laughs> now our voices. Very important for charm. Uh, Minnie, let me hear you speak. Well, what will I say? Oh, just say the Queen's English. Oh. <clears throat> the Queen's English. There, I said it. Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> uh, now you, Miss Elsie, test your voice. Uh, testing. One, two, three, four. Testing. Test concluded. Oh, dear, no. You must really improve your voices. You should practice saying, How now, brown cow? <laughs> That's silly. Who wants to say hello to a brown cow? <laughs> well, for a start, a brown bull would. <laughs> well, I must be off to charm school. As I go, notice the correct manner of walking. One glides, the hip carry the body. The hips go first and the body follows. Well, goodbye. All right, hips, after you. I do hope she catches up. <laughs> Hello, Miss Elsie. Uh, was that Miss Plunge? Hell no, a brown cow. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Babs McKinnon. <gasps> uh, Hello, Babs, darling. Uh, do you sing for us, dear? Oh, certainly. Come, Millie. And bring your hips with you. There's a tiny house, tiny house. by a tiny stream, tiny stream. Where a lovely lass had a lovely dream. Lovely dream. And her dream came true. She was out one day, where the tulips grow, when a handsome lad stopped to say hello, and because she knew, he missed her tenderly, he gave her a little lost and left, but that's an island broken by the sea. The happy pair were married one Sunday afternoon. They left the church and went away to spend the honeymoon In a tiny house, by a tiny stream Where the lovely lass had a lovely dream And the last I heard, they still in happily In Gilly Gilly Austin, left the cats and Ellen broke them by the sea the happy pair were married one Sunday afternoon. 
They left the church and ran away to spend their honeymoon in a tiny house, in a tiny house. by a tiny street, tiny street. where the lovely lass had a lovely dream. And the last I heard, they still live happily. seldom think alike except when it comes to buying chocolate then most people go for Cadbury's dairy milk the reason is simple dairy milk has a smoother creamier flavor dairy milk is more satisfying there's a glass and a half of milk milk fresh creamy milk in each half pound every thick chunky square is packed with nourishing goodness every bite brings a flavor that's hard to resist Buy a block tomorrow and sample the perfect pleasure that only perfectly blended chocolate can bring. Cadbury's Dairy Milk Chocolate. Why more people say, I want Cadbury's. Hey, Purse. Purse Brown. Oh, hello, Jack. How's things in the broadcasting station? Oh, just fine, fine. And the fan mail, boy, you should see today's stack. The six bags of it, you know, over, over a thousand letters. Gee, you must be popular, Jack. Oh, well, Purse, you know how it is. There are more women than men in this country, you know, and they've got to have someone to love, so... Uh, <laughs> well, you should see all those letters. Um, uh, dear Jack Happy, I never miss your program, and please send me the free bottle of perfume as advertised. Oh, Purse, it's so terrible to be so popular, you know. Uh, where are you off to? Oh, I'm just taking these pound notes to get new ones for them. Oh, they're worn out, huh? No. It's the competition in the paper. Oh? Uh, Elsie's looking for some lucky note. Uh, and you get 50 quid for 50 it. 50 quid for it. Yeah. Uh, you wouldn't change it for me, would you? Why, sure, for all the good it'll do. You know, we won that kind of competition sometimes, and the odds against winning it are terrific. Uh, what is it? Here, here, here we are. Here's your notes. Ah. Uh, uh, what is the number, anyway? It's got to end in 727. Uh -huh. Like this one here. Hey! 727. So this is it. Look, 727. 727. No kidding? Well, what do you know? Oh, boy, this quid's worth 50 quid. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Give my love to your nephew. <laughs> well, I'm off. Here's Elsie going to be surprised. I'm not going to say a word. I'll let her find it for herself. And, brother, I'll be in for my cut like a seagull and a sardine. So long, Jack. And to think I gave it to him. <laughs> I told you you shouldn't have trusted Purse with that money. He should have been back here long before this. Oh, he'll be back, men. Look, look, it says here in the paper, desperate character in the neighborhood. He robs the men and kisses all the pretty women. Oh, dear. I'll be frightened to go out at night. <laughs> <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about, dear. No. Eh? Any other news? No, men, just the usual headlines. Well-known jockey's leg in cast. Actors' equity demands inquiry. Oh, uh, Jimmy Ben, I'm back. Here's your five quid. I changed them. They must have reformed. Oh, thank you, Purse. Put them on the dresser, will you? Aren't you going to look at the numbers? Well, I will present him when I get this flower off me hands. Purse, be a dear and get a towel off the clothesline. But what about looking as at... As soon as you get the towel. Oh, all right, I'll get it. Uh, don't let the night flow away. Right. Good afternoon. Lovely day for it. Oh, hi, oh, Mr. Hercules. Hercules. Now, I'm glad you asked me that, Miss Elsie. Last night I was feeling marvellous. But this morning when I had to bend down, oh, the agony. Travelling pains all up and down the left side. If it wasn't for me cheery disposition, I'd never get through the day. <laughs> Here's your beans. You're lucky to get them. What with the attack of the blight. What's that, the blight? The beans? No, me. There was trouble with the red spider. What? The beans? No, me old woman. She had a red back. Your wife? No, the spider. <laughs> She's got a poisonous tongue, you know. Not the spider, me old woman. 
nag. There's only one bigger nag than my old woman. Oh? Yes, me travelling pains. <laughs> Poor Mr. Hercules, never mind. Oh, by the way, uh, what do I owe you? A pound. Oh, oh well, here you are. So, well, I think I'll be going now. Oh, Mr. Hercules, would you like to change some old pound notes for some new ones? What for? Well, I save old pound notes. I can't save any kind. <laughs> Here's three I've got. Oh, here. thank you. Well, three, here's three others for you. Well, I must go now. Well, I hope your travelling pains improve, Mr. Hercules. No fear. They're getting worse. And the doctor's no help. He told me to have a very hot bath before retiring. The way business is now, I won't be retiring for years. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, in case I don't see you anymore, goodbye. And no flowers by request. Hercules. Yes. Goodbye, sunshine. Seven, two, seven. Elsie, I've got it. Oh, I've got one. Oh, a lucky pound note. Look, six, four, two, eight, seven, two, seven. Oh, man. Where'd you get it's it? In the change from Mr. Hercules. Now, why didn't I think to ask him for change? Why, Elsie, I believe you're jealous. No, I'm not. Only I could have used that 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Just think. This little piece of paper is worth 50 pounds. Hooray! <laughs> What's Frog Christ doing a dance for? Look, I found a lucky note. I got it from Mr. Hercules. Well, good for you, men. Hey, you're not getting any of it. I'm not worried. Well, what if I told you that you weren't the only one to find a lucky quid? What do you mean, Purse? Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. I found one, too. Y you found one? Where is it? I really wanted Elsie to find it. It was one of those I changed down the street. Got it off Jack Happy. Well, where did you put it? There on the dresser. Now, wait a minute. Hey, there's only four now. Oh, I paid Mr. Hercules with one of them. Oh, no. <coughs> then that's... Minnie Smith, give me back my pound note. Oh, but it's mine. Mr. Hercules changed it for me. But I gave it to him, so it's mine. That's right, and I'm a witness. I gave it to Elsie. There. Now whose pound note is it's it? It's mine. I'm holding it and possessing his nine points of the law. Is that so? Well, give me that pound note. Give it to me. It's mine. Go. I heard it first. I'll I'll pay give it to me. Oh. Here, here, here. Now look what you've both done. Elsie, would you mind giving me the rest of my pound note? Would you mind giving me the rest of my pound note? Uh, now look, hold out there, the two of you. After all, you're sisters, and if there's a prize to be won, you ought to split it. We just did. It's torn in half. <laughs> I mean the 50 quid. Look, someone's got to take that note to the newspaper office by three o'clock, or else you get no money. Yeah, that's right. Oh, all right, Minnie. You give me your half, and I'll take them both down. Oh, no. You give me your half. <laughs> Minnie, I don't think you trust me. No. What an awful thing to say. Well, you don't trust me. Ah, oh, that's different. I know I can trust me. <laughs> Look, each of you take your halves and go to the newspaper office together. A good idea. Very well. Well, I'm putting my half in my handbag for safekeeping. And I'll take your half, Jelly Boy. Right. For safekeeping. I'll mind it. Now go and doll yourself up and we'll go. I think I'll have a shower and dude up myself. Maybe photographs. Anyone in the bathroom? Well, I think Babs was in there. I'll see. Oh, Babs, honey. Honey. Are you in there, honey? Madam, this is a bathroom, not a beehive. <laughs> Why, it's Clive Way. <laughs> La rola di bianco vestita, già rossa di scuola al gran sol, di già con le rose sodita, carezza dei fiori lo stuol. Ha mosso del fremito arcano, intorno al creato già fa, e tu non ti desti e ne Mi sto qui da lente a cantare anche tu la veste bianca E scudi dolce al tuo canto non sai la luce manca Ove tu sai 
nasce l'amor Metti anche tu la veste bianca e scrivi l'uscio dal tuo cantor Come non sai la luce manca Come tu sai nasce La veste bianca e di luce al tuo cantor Oh, non sai, la luce manca Oh, tu sai, nasce l'amor Metti anche tu la veste bianca e di Our guest singer, Clive Way, has shown us he certainly has a fine range. In that, he reminds me of Cadbury's. Besides smooth, creamy dairy milk chocolate, Cadbury's have a wonderful range of nut chocolate, too. There's Cadbury's Brazil Nut, plump Brazil nuts thickly coated with dairy milk. Also, Cadbury's Nut Milk, dairy milk chocolate laced through with crisp roasted hazelnuts. And don't forget toasted almond with its special nutty flavor. Also, Candy Nut. A blend of peanuts toasted to full flavour and coated with crisp candy. Buy these favourite nut chocolate blocks at your nearest chocolate counter. Cadbury's Dairy Milk and Cadbury's Nut Range are all good reasons for I want Cadbury's. Come on, Jelly Bean. Hurry up, it's two o'clock. Oh, what's the hurry? We don't have to be there till three. You don't want to take any chances. The tram might break down. He's right for once. Are we all ready? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, blimey, wait a minute. What's wrong? I forgot one little item. What? One half of the lucky note. I lifted it in my other trousers. <gasps> a purse? Yes, Jellybean? Those trousers. Were they the grey flannel? Yeah. With the belt loops? Yeah. And the patch in the seat? Yeah. They wear hanging in the bathroom? Yeah, what about it? What do you mean? Were hanging in the bathroom. What have you done with them? Well... Uh, Where are uh, they? At the dry cleaners. Oh. The dry clean... Oh, what made you do a stupid thing like that? Blimey, if you were a man, I'd punch you in the nose. And if you were a man, Post Brown, I'd punch you in the nose. Fancy <laughs> leaving the note in your pants without your half, my half's no good. Quick, what laundry picked them up? Where's their factory? I don't know. The man just came to the door and said, any dry cleaning, and I gave them to him. Oh, well, don't stand there with your mouth hanging open. Do something. How many dry cleaners are there in this city? Hundreds. We'll have to visit them all. Quick, come on, Elsie. We'll have to grab a taxi. Men, you get down to the newspaper with your half of the note and tell them we're coming with the other. Right. But a taxi, it'll cost money. That's OK. We'll take it out of the prize money. Now, come on, let's get going. <laughs> And you're the last one. You see, I was in the shower and she took me past. Now, just a minute, just a minute, just a minute, one at a time, please. Just whose pants are these? Mine. And I've got to find them, because when Elsa and men tore it in half, I put it in the pocket and it's worth 50 quid. But I don't quite see what you... Oh, come on, Purse, let's look. Right. Hey, can't you see that sign? You can't go in there. That's what you think. I want my pants. Come back. You can't go in there. I'm very sorry, Miss Smith, but there it is. I can't pay you till your sister produces the other half. But it's one minute to three. Well, rules are rules, you know. My newspaper said deliver a complete lucky note by three o'clock. Uh, men, 
We're here. Oh, goodness, we're We've here. We've got it. Oh. We've got it. Oh, thank goodness. This gentleman wouldn't believe me. He's been downright rude. Then we'll cancel our newspaper. But we don't get this newspaper. <laughs> well, then order one copy and then cancel it. Oh, Purse, what happened to you? He fell into the dry cleaning vat. <laughs> yeah, but here's the half note. Ah, oh, then I'm at liberty to pay you 50 pounds. Congratulations. Oh, oh, I, 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 now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh. You remember, Minnie, you agreed that any expenses for the search should come out of the 50? Yes, I agreed to that. Good. Well, then, let's add up the expenses, Purse. I'll write them down. Right. You'll call now. Five taxis at one pound each. Five pound. Five pound. Tips to taxi drivers. Two pound. Two pound. Fine for speeding. Five pound. <laughs> five pound. Damage to dry cleaners' premises, £37. £37? But what does that leave us? It leaves us exactly one pound. That pound note wasn't as valuable as it might have been. Still, it can buy plenty of Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That brings pleasure to everyone. Dairy milk is certainly popular, and it's today's top chocolate value. Besides 21 thick chunky squares in the quarter pound block, dairy milk contains the satisfying flavor and goodness of milk. Milk, fresh, creamy milk. That's why you enjoy a smoother, creamier chocolate when you choose the one in the purple and gold wrapper. Buy a block of dairy milk tomorrow. Discover why it's so popular. Dairy milk with its glass and a half of pure, fresh, full cream milk in each half pound has everyone saying, I want Cadbury's. In tonight's Cadbury show, you heard Minnie Love as Minnie, Kevin Brennan as her old friend Purse, Frank Strain as Mr. Hercules, Audrey Teasdale as Miss Plunge, John Millian as Jack Happy, Alan Herbert as the dry cleaner, Max Osbiston as the editor. Songs by Babs McKinnon and Clive Way to the music of Wilbur Cantwell. Now, this is Reginald Goldsworthy saying good night for Elsie, your Cadbury star, Rita Ponsford. <laughs>